What's going on and welcome back. So today we're going to be showcasing a little Blunderbuss Great Axe, probably one of the best uh, builds in the game, honestly. Open world, OPR, wars, you name it, you can do it. 350 strength, 50 int, 200 con, and medium, and you can really just be your own hero. So this is just me showcasing that. Um, as you can tell, I got a big raid, but uh, I think only one guy actually followed me up here with me. And uh, I'm going to be my own hero for this. And uh, just this is a little showcase of what you can do with Blunderbuss. Get in, burst them, get out. Probably one of the best solo builds in the game, honestly. A lot of sustain, an extreme amount of movement. And um, on this build, I only play Insatiable Gravity well because honestly, Exhaustive Net Shot, in my opinion, is not great for killing groups. That being said, it can be great for chasing down solos. But uh, as you can tell there, big wipes. Only two of us. Enjoy. We're getting into the shrine and I'm flagging at the same time, he's so... <laughs> Kobe. Oh, I hit him right in the head! No way! Now, in this clip, I run a set of four set of shirking heels, a couple of enchanted wards, some alley aversion, you know, using some of the frigid dawn set, but I'm in medium. And you know what? I refuse almost always to back down from a fight, regardless of how it looks. Uh, we do have a healing circle there for a little bit, and then eventually it's going to go away. But uh, like I said, I refuse to uh, leave a fight once I'm into it. Um, taking a death here and there is not going to hurt my ego, honestly. I'm here to have fun, and if I can just skirt out and get that kill, even if I get killed, I'll count that as a win. Because it's just fun in general, just hurting people's feelings, <laughs> honestly. So, as you can tell, we lost our healer. Got a couple more jumping in. One of my boys gets popped right there. Unfortunately, he did not have the con to handle that. So now it looks like we are in a uh, 2v1 with a circle underneath me, obviously. Chasing these guys around, trying to get that kill off on Ricky Mick. Getting out, obviously. Now I will focus one person. I will try to stay on them as much as possible, no matter what the situation is. So now they have a heal circle. I am SOL as far as heals, but like I said, I am running four shirking heals. So this gives me a little more sustain and always stone form there for the win. And uh, people get really, um, what do you call it? They overextend a lot when you are low on health. So I use Stoneform almost as like a bait. As you can see there, I got a reaper buddy come in, help me finish that guy off. And the reap for that guy. So honestly, that's why I never run away. And you give them the bag because they were good, good fighters. So got to give them the bag. Here's a clip of how somebody should be playing Musket. Unfortunately, they do a terrible job of it, but... This is why people are not a huge fan of musket players. So I got shot by a musket guy right there. And I'm like, what the hell where'd that guy come from? So I got healed and I'm like, oh, I just saw the shot. He's coming from back there. So we leave that little group to do their thing and we're, we need to make sure this guy does not live. This is probably why muskets get such a bad rap, honestly. You have people from a mile away doing substantial damage, I'll say. Albeit for whatever it is. And, um... This guy has no chance in hell once I actually catch up to him. This is why when that new PvP zone, that free-for-all mode comes out, I'm going to be very excited to, uh, honestly, to beat up my own guys. Now, what I will say is one of the cringiest things you can do in New World Open World PvP is camping tents. As you can see, we've got a four or five man there camping tents, and this is what happens when you camp my tents. I will come in and I will burst you like the hero that I am. Now, I will say... Um, this happens all the time with this group that we fight. Uh, we call them Honey Trash. They're, a, like I said, that's the group you just saw earlier that are wearing paper. I don't expect much out of them, so needless to say, the mechanics there, why not use it? So, who am I to say otherwise? And that's what happens. Same thing here. I'm a huge fan of fair fights, and when I see someone on my team getting attacked, well, let's just say, again, jump in, burst, and goodbye. Here's probably one of my favorite clips of the night, and this is how you don't play a hero. So there's three of us here, and there's probably like a good eight inside, um, and then one of our boys gets popped, and then I'm like, you know what, let's play the real hero here, watch this. And they all come out. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious, but uh, not the greatest way to play a hero. 
last but not least, here is a video of a, uh, a five-stack homie leaving the safety of his sacred. Uh, he was running with his five-stack this whole OPR, and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna come up and take advantage. Well, needless to say, when a five-stack homie doesn't have his sacred, it's not the same outcome. Don't get me wrong, the guy's not terrible, not bad at all, but uh, without a sacred, it's not the same thing. And of course, we gotta give him the bag because he did a good job. GG. Okay, so for as for this build, for BB Great Axe, as you can tell, we got the kick going, it's looking real nice and pretty. Let's talk about what armor and weapons I'm using. So we're obviously doing some Insatiable Gravity Will, Enchanted Ward, Shirking Heels, Elemental Version, Frigid Dawn, Shirking Heels, Elemental Version, Shirking Heels, Slash Conditioning. Same thing, Frigid Dawn, just with some, I'm actually missing a Shirking Heels there. And then I'm running Tumblr Feet Wraps for the Fortify and the Shirking Heels. Now, I run some Common Honing Stones for fun. I run some uh, Strong Gemstone Dust. I run Avalanche for the Crippling Reap because it is disgustingly good on a Great Axe. And I run Pestilence because it's fantastic, especially in group content. Now, regardless of what they said about its uh, nerfing, Pestilence still slaps, especially in group content. When you grab well somebody, and then you shoot this stuff into them, the splitting grenades and the shrapnel blast, it is devastating to say the least. Talk about attributes, so I always run 3, 50, 50, 200. I don't have my food going right now, but it's 350, 50, 200, okay? Screenshot that if you need to. Weapon Masteries, this is what I normally run. This is how I enjoy it. You can also go with a little more of the charge and get rid of these if you're just solo taking people. You don't need these necessarily and you run charge with this. Unpredictable Strike is a nasty hit. I really enjoy it, but when I do group content, which is what I usually do, I prefer to have this as there as well. As for the little blunderbuss, I feel like everybody runs the same kit. Feel free to screenshot this, but you're gonna wanna run net shot, shrapnel blast, and uh, splitting grenade. I have people seen people take, uh, instead of over net shot, they take uh, blast shot, which I really like. I do like blast shot but I've yet to make it useful for myself. So hope you guys enjoyed that build. Thank you all. Peace out.